So before I go on any further, I want to do some some little more thorough testing of my uh, site. Uh, a couple of things I need to do is just see what they look, see what my page looks like at a couple different, uh, all the different browsers, and validate my code. So one thing that I noticed in Internet Explorer was at a certain point when you start looking, I'm going closer and closer. Look what happens when the width goes gets narrower. Uh, this border appears and the more narrow it gets look at this it gets thicker and thicker um, now I played around with this for a good 15 20 minutes and I, I just couldn't I couldn't figure it out uh, not there isn't not that there isn't a solution but at this point something like this is not mission critical this not being here is not going to affect my the functionality of my page um, you know, assuming that I need to deliver this on time and that kind of thing, I, I'm gonna just for the for the sake of getting this done, um, I'm just gonna take it out. I mean, it's just gonna be that simple. Um, it's a cool effect to have, but not necessarily one that's required. So instead of bending over backwards for Internet Explorer, I'm just going to get rid of it. That's it. Um, simple as that. And I guess the the next thing I ought to do for Internet Explorer specifically, because this is getting smaller, is I'm going to adjust that uh, that top margin um, on, on the article because then that way it doesn't look as um, as extreme and there's really nothing there for for to fill that space at this point. So let me go margin top and uh, let's try two ems and give that a refresh looks good and of course it still looks the same in my other browsers so cool I like that uh, next order business that I noticed is look at this horizontal scroll bar that's appearing um, and you know at first I thought maybe it was an Internet Explorer thing but when I started looking at the rest of this stuff look at that it appears on all of my browsers now I'm not sure exactly what is causing that and I could potentially investig investigate and try to uh, retool it but you know I could just really solve that issue by um, let's see if I go to my body I'm you know that uh, line is on the x-axis right the x goes left and right so I'll just go um, overflow or is it x overflow let's see overflow I think it's dash x equals none I may have my my thinking uh, screwy yeah overflow let's see let me just google that real quick overflow x hidden I forgot which way overflow X how did I oh duh did I say X overflow overflow X oh duh no not none dumb dumb hidden <laughs> all right there we go so that should solve my my issue let's see where we're at mr. invader so we'll go here and I'll start bringing it closer and closer and closer all right no horizontal scroll bar to speak of look at this here it is before the refresh and post refresh nice okay cool so we got that solved and um, let's actually give this guy uh, a validation first we'll validate the well we'll have to validate the HTML Ooh, we got a couple errors so let's see what we got here we have in our HTML it says bad value 28 pixel for the attribute on the video element expected a digit but saw P instead all right I know what I did here um, just as a force of habit I defined the width in pixels where it's a bit better practice uh, uh, to not do that and it'll assume that they're pixels so let's see how that works um, uh, well hold on then let me save that and just verify that what I'm thinking worked 
Exactly. Okay, so it got rid of that error on my video. Now here, it's saying that and did not start a character reference. Uh, oh, it's been looking for an ampersand, as though uh, we're trying to put an and on the page. Now, I just can't fix this error. This is a URL, and in the URL, in order to get there, is the ampersand. So you don't want to replace that with the uh, HTML version of the ampersand. So that is uh, definitely a reasonable exception. Uh, bad value for the attribute on M. Saw a digit but no, expected a digit but saw P. So that is uh, our little HTML5 action. It just doesn't want the pixels anymore. So let's get those out and we're, let's see where else it has that. Uh, 6262, okay. Let's save it and I'll give it a revalidation. All right, got rid of those. So this one we can't do anything about. Uh, the image element must have an alt tag. Yeah, of course. Okay, mess that one up. And um, we'll just do alt uh, picture of an invader from space. Here, let me show you. There you go. All right, that handled that. And let's see, the other two is, uh, these aren't even actually uh, errors. They're just warnings. The site attribute is not yet supported. Whatever, it's in there. We're using um, we're using HTML5 standards over here, so that's cool. All right, now let's see. Okay, after you know, quote unquote, fixing our page, let's make sure that we didn't break anything. Looks good. Looks good. Looks still good and still good. Now let's do that same thing. Big boy. Okay. We get bigger, looks cool. All right, so that's Safari. Now let's see what this guy wants to do as we expand it. Looks good. Okay, very good. Anyway, uh, I won't bore you with my testing, but clearly uh, just because you've been working and making incremental changes doesn't mean that you haven't been messing stuff up in the process. So uh, keep an eye on your code test it in a browser, and make sure you validate it against the W3C uh, validator, which, now look at that, I'm saying what you should do, but I haven't finished validating it online. Um, but, I, you know, I can't do my CSS locally. I'm going to have to upload it to the server.